Hello guys, Gaming Lime here and welcome your faces and fingers back to episode number 15 of Better Than Wenger on Football Manager 2018. We are going into almost our last few games. We've only got three games left of the Premier League and that Europa League final against Benfica. Today we will face Palace and Newcastle and now these games are absolutely crucial. We are two points... Uh, Sorry, we are two games behind Manchester United who have a six points gap over us. So if we beat Palace, if we beat Newcastle in today's episode, we will take it down to the last game of the season where Manchester United will play Crystal Palace, who we play today, and we will play Bournemouth, who are down in, where are Bournemouth, 11th. Chris, uh, Tottenham equalised, they played um, Manchester United yesterday and they tied nil-nil. So we need to win our next three games and we could still win the Premier League but only if we win these two games against Palace and against Newcastle. I've mixed it up a little bit. Same back five, Czech, Bellerin, Koscielny, De Vrij, Kolasniak, Xhaka and Arthur in the middle here. Mkhitaryan, Ozil, Awobi and Lacazette comes back in. Let's get into this game. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. If you are, please leave it a big thumbs up. Um, it helps me out very very much and we are going to get straight into this game we are away to Crystal Palace Crystal Palace had an excellent season um, all the way up to I think it was January or early February they were up in the top four um, so they could cause us a little bit of trouble and they've just hit the crossbar we were very very poor in our last game against um, Galatasaray in that second leg um, in the last episode if you haven't watched that go check that out here is Arthur Mkhitaryan Ozil, oh, just wide, could do with an early goal here, um, or even just a good performance, like we really, really need a good performance, we have not been playing well recently, here is Lacazette, Kolasniak, back to Lacazette, Arthur, Ozil, back to Arthur, Lacazette, Ozil, 1-0, what a goal that is, that's a great, I just said we could do with an early goal, and there it is, first 10 minutes of the game, and that was pure affection, look at this, great passing, Arthur, got a little bit lucky there, here's Ozil, plays it back to Arthur, to Lacazette, Lacazette picks out a great ball, and Ozil sticks it in the back of the net, 1-0 Arsenal, come on, we need these points, and we could do with a few goals as well, it's very, very close on the goal difference, um, and if after these two games we are level on goal different um, on points, then obviously woof, what a goal by Awobi. Alex Awobi take a bow. 13 minutes gone, we are 2 0 up. Surely now we must win this game. Awobi, it's a great effort. Look at that. Oh, tucks it in that bottom corner, and we are 2 0 up. It's a good start. It's a very good start. We could do with this game being like 3 or 4 nil. Oof, he's left that there. Thought, no, it took a deflection. I thought it was going in. De Vry, Lacazette, can he turn? No, he can't. Need a nice clean sheet. Nice easy game. Here against Palace and against Newcastle. And we take it down to that last game of the season against Bournemouth Awobi penalty nope no penalty here's Xhaka Arthur Mkhitaryan gets dispossessed Koscielny Arthur Bellerin Mkhitaryan there it is Alexander Lacazette makes it three he scored a lot of goals this season again this was great build up play it's only 20 minutes gone by the way so this could be a big scoring game and we need this to get our momentum going good cross Lacazette did well there he had two defenders on him 20 minutes gone 3-0 Lacazette scores 40 this season so far that's what that um, stat just said Jack is in here Ozil Arthur Mkhitaryan back to Arthur Bellerin decent cross and Awobi's hit the crossbar could have been four maybe should have been four 
and now they're going to hit us on the counter attack. Good defending. Oh no, we gave away a free kick. Bellerin has not been playing very well. He wasn't good against Ajax, um, against Galatasaray, and he definitely wasn't good against um, Everton in that game either before that. Hopefully we can keep this. I'm going to keep a clean sheet. Yeah, that's a poor effort from Andros Townsend. We can keep that coming. So we've had, they've had no shots on target. We've had six shots, three on target, and all three of them have been in the back of the net. And we've hit the crossbar as well. Decent so far. And we've got an extra goal over Manchester United. Um, so if we score another couple, that would be definitely, definitely handy. Chelsea can't catch us now. There's six points. That would only take them to 79. So we are guaranteed at least first or second. It is between us and Manchester United. Manchester United, they've only got one game left. We have two after this game. So two and a half at this moment in time. So good first half there. There is the halftime whistle. Oh, no, it's not. I thought it was. There is the halftime whistle. 3-0 at half time. We could do with another couple of goals. Let's keep encouraging the boys. Give them all their confidence in the world that they need. And hopefully steer us towards a Premier League title. It's going to be close. I can see it's just losing against Newcastle. And, they, and, the, and it will be over. But we'll see what happens in the next game. I don't think we're going to throw this one away. Oh, I hope we're not going to throw this one away. I think we're, we've got too much decent quality in there. Look at this. Everyone's on a, at least a 7 there, which is decent. Much better than they have been in the past. Much better than that Galatasaray game. And we will play, actually, Benfica in that, in that Europa League final. I said Leon were winning, but Benfica actually got a, um, a late goal that made them win the game 2-1 and yeah they're through to the final along with us let's make a couple of changes let's see this highlight out first it looks like it's going to be a Crystal Palace highlight unless we can win the ball yes we can Koscielmi, Mkhitaryan oh, loses the ball again and now Sacco and we've given a penalty away it's not what we want Come on, check. Sacco scores. 3-1. <sighs> Does that put us level on goal difference? We don't need to see a penalty. Yeah, level on goal difference now. All right, let's make a change. Let's bring Ramsey on. Let's take Shaka off. I'm going to bring Aubameyang on to see if he can get a goal. He's got 20 minutes here. I will make another change in the last 10. I think I'm going to bring um, Zayic on. Let's give Zayic. Let's actually give him 15 minutes here. Let's bring Ozil off. Zayic on. Let's see what he can do. With 3-1 up. With 15 minutes to go. Goal difference is going to be important I think. But the most important thing is the three points. And hopefully we have secured that. This is Bellerin. This is going to be a goal. Aubameyang. Oh how did he miss that? How did he miss that? <sighs> Last 10 minutes here. Come on let's get another goal. De Vrij, Mkhitaryan, Aubameyang. He's got so many players around him. Fosu Mensu gets there first. Ramsey, Arthur, Mkhitaryan, Aubameyang, Awobi. Yes, there it is. Second goal of the game for Alex Awobi. Great pass in here again. Mkhitaryan plays it out to Bellerin. I oh, know he doesn't actually. He should have done. Mkhitaryan, great cross, Aubameyang flicks it on and there is Alex Awobi. 10 minutes to go, 4-1 up, that should secure the 3 points and a plus 1 goal difference over Manchester United as well unless 
unless there's another goal in this game. And it could be come to us. Here is Zaych, Abamiang, far too deep. Zaych again, Awobi. Has Alex Awobi got a hat trick in? That's a great ball to Bellerin. Mikatarian, yes, there it is, 5-1. It's a great, great goal. Zaych, little dink ball out to Alex Awobi. But look at this ball. That pass there is absolutely phenomenal. Great cross, and Mikatarian squeezes it, squeezes it in at that near post. Last five minutes of this game, we are 5-1 up, and we've got a two-goal difference. But those two-goal difference will not mean anything if we don't beat Newcastle in the next game. Um, three minutes of added time. We are already two and a half in that, into that. Can we get another goal? Bellerin. Keeper's ball. Easy. All day long. Come on, blow the whistle. Abamiang. Mikatarian. Arthur, he's played very well today. He's definitely starting against Newcastle. Mikatarian, what was that ball? Iwobi. Last two seconds of injury time. There it is, guys. A big, big win. We do get the three points. We do get a bit of goal difference. But we still need to beat Newcastle to get level on points with Manchester United. So I will see you for that game in a second. Okay, here we go guys. No changes for this starting lineup against Newcastle. Let's just get straight into this game. I am excited. We need to win. Uh, we are three points behind Manchester United. This is our game in hand, our last game in hand. This will take it. If we do win, we'll go top of the table. Um, on goal difference, we will be level on points with Manchester United, and that will take it in to the last game of the season. If we do anything apart from two, if we tie, if we lose, we've lost the title. We cannot win the league. Actually, that's not true. We can win the league on goal difference, but I'm not thinking about losing. I am thinking. 100% we need a win we're at home we're against Newcastle who are 15th in the league um, we should be good enough to beat Newcastle Bellerin good save Bellerin Awobi he has been absolutely fantastic in these two games we've only been playing 15 minutes of this game Alex Awobi has just scored his third goal of this episode Lacazette plays it out to Bellerin Bellerin gets their Good save, and then it was cleared and bundled away, but Awobi has stuck it in the back of the net. 14, uh, 14 minutes in, we do take the lead, and look at that. We are top of the table as things stands on goal difference. Now, we would love to stick another couple past Newcastle here and get that goal difference up even higher. Can we do it? Mikatarian has just doubled our lead. It's 2-0, 24 minutes gone. It was a great free kicker. Who took the free kick? Lacazette? It was Urzel. Urzel with a great free kick. Lacazette nuds it down and Mikatarian slices it on the half volley into the back of the net. He's been very good in the past two games as well. Um, in that last game against Palace, he was excellent. And um, we are 2-0 up. Could be 3 Arthur with the corner, Awobi, Urzel, it is free, come on, building up some confidence here, three early goals, just like the Palace game, great cross, back into Arthur, he plays it into Awobi, he nuds it down, and that is an excellent finish from Urzel, 3-0, 35 minutes gone, and look at that, 52 goals, 57 goal difference. A plus five so far goal difference. Is that going to be what this Premier League season comes down to? They have Manchester United. Oh, Lacazette should have scored. In the last game of the season, Manchester United have got Palace, who we just stuffed 5 1. Um, and we have Bournemouth. Um, so I'm hoping to get another couple of goals in this game. Just because I think Manchester United will do what we did to Crystal Palace. They should beat them 
very very easily um, so they might add a couple of goals Chelsea are 2-0 up against Tottenham um, so they look as though they will oh, they've already cemented their third spot here they can't catch us or Manchester United um, so they will be third it's going to be close for fourth I think Marino here is going to get second yellow and he is off good 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 that helps us out even more 63 minutes gone here come on we can get another couple of goals surely here's Mkhitaryan Bellerin Arthur Iwobi Kalashniak on the overlap Ozil here is Kalashniak Iwobi couldn't quite get there Xhaka did well Kalashniak oh just give the ball away can't give the ball away De Vrij Arthur just keep the ball keep the ball Mkhitaryan out wide again to Bellerin look at Bellerin look at the space Ozil finds Bellerin Bellerin crosses the ball in Arthur Ozil Lacazette uh, 4 sorry I thought it was 3 4 nil. Alexander Lacazette bangs one home and it was great build up play here Bellerin on the outside in acres and acres of space good cross it is cleared but it's only fallen as far as Arthur he finds Ozil who little cheeky little flick to Lacazette and he makes it 4 nil. I think I'm going to actually take him off let's bring I'm going to bring Ramsey on for Xhaka I'm going to bring let's bring Welbeck on for Iwobi let's give Iwobi a bit of a rest I will be back hold on sorry about that guys the door went so let's leave those two changes and let's get straight back into this game last 20 minutes here come on can we add another couple of goals 15 minutes left I'm gonna make my last change and it is going to be Alexander Lacazette off Abamyang on can he grab a couple of goals or maybe even one goal one goal would be nice Arthur Abamyang Mikatarian that was close that was close last 10 minutes here come on we're bundling in we're putting so much pressure on him here Kalajniak what a ball that is Arthur Mikatarian just hit the post corner kick Arthur with the corner Koscielny there Welbeck's there nowhere near the goal Danny Welbeck another chance here we're getting so many chances I know we're up a man Arthur there it is that's a great goal as well that's 5 nil, and we are absolutely on fire this is a great strike by Arthur here off the inside of the post or did it hit the goalkeeper Ramsey falls to Arthur oh no he's hit the inside of the post that's a phenomenal strike excellent excellent strike and that puts up we are top of the league going into the last game of the season and there's going to be something special the next episode guys will be out in a couple of days and it is going to be a big 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 episode you will not want to miss it if you did like this episode if you think i'm going to win the premier league go down in the comments let me know what you guys think um, if you did like this episode please leave it a big thumbs up and of course if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time